What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Okay, back in March, Nothing announced that they would be launching a beta version of a Nothing launcher that they came out with. Well, today, April 28th, they actually did release that for a hand few of devices in the Play Store, and it's really the S21 series, the S22 series, and the Pixel 5 series and higher. What's interesting is no OnePlus phones were even part of this beta release, not in this one at least. So we went ahead and downloaded it on our Pixel 6 Pro and our S22 Ultra, and I want to show you how it looks and how you download it. It's pretty clear, cut and dry how you do it, but I want to show you guys what it really looks like. Um, this is very, very basic. It is not fully baked at all, but just to give you an idea of what we have here, uh, I want to go ahead and do so. So once you have it installed, you get this kind of weird, trippy hand background as your wallpaper, and this is it. It is pretty minimalistic. You have a five icon dock at the bottom and one page. Now, you can obviously, as you would traditionally, drag and drop for more pages. And as I said that, now it's not going to let me. Let me try it this way first. So yeah, I actually just had multiple pages on prior, and now it's not even letting me add another page. So very interesting. You can see where some of these issues come from for this beta. But moving on beyond that, you do have a scrollable app drawer, which is always nice to see instead of what Samsung itself usually utilizes here. And really, you have three widgets that you can use and they're very very minimal. You have an analog clock, digital clock, and the weather in that kind of dot matrix pattern. If you want to go ahead and launch it, still drag and drop, and you can see just what that looks like. Beyond that, if you want to go ahead and use a clock, we can drag this one out as well, and you have two options here for solid or transparent. Let's ride with transparent, and you can see you can move them around like you traditionally would, but you can't truly resize it more than a couple of different options, so take that for what you will. Not a big deal, but if you wanted to condense that down in space, you couldn't use those in this current format. Aside from that, when you go to your home screen settings, you have options for notification dots to automatically add app icons to your home screen and just an about option. So this is version 1.0.0. Again, Surprise is actually a full dot release and not just a beta build of some different numeric pattern, but no big deal. So that's how it is. Now, having said that, if you guys have never changed your launchers before, what I wanted to do is actually show you guys how to do that on the Pixel 6 Pro. So all you're going to want to do for that is go into your settings, and you're going to want to look for default apps. And when you do that, you're going to look for the actual general category and go to default apps. And you're going to look for the home app. So you can see right by default, you're on the Pixel Launcher. You can see other launcher options we have here listed. And you're just going to want to select Nothing Launcher. And there you go. So again, let's try here. There we go. Let us move icons to another page here. So you can see why it's in beta. Um, by no means would I recommend you doing this on your daily driver. There's really nothing to benefit over, again, something like the Pixel Launcher. You can't scroll over and see what you have on your Google feed or anything like that. So, yeah, pretty basic, pretty minimal. No different settings depending on the phone you're in. It is purely just uh, a launcher. So, yeah, that's it currently, guys. wanted to give you a quick look. Again, just dropped. Go grab it in the uh, Play Store. Give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. And we'll be back as soon as they have upgrades to this. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.